Greetings, greetings. Welcome to the channel. You are with Tunisia Ali. And I am here to help you to gain some clarity, to up-level your mindset, to hear and clear, hear, to hear, to heal and clear energetic blockages so that you can manifest the glory of God that is within you. And today we're talking about indirectly reciprocity. The title of this video is, He's Just Not That Into You. Oh, we gotta go to the beach, hold on. And we're talking about, I deal with countless ladies all the time. The majority of the kinds of consultative services or readings that I may do or even um, dialogue around healing has to do with love and relationships. And I am no love and relationship guru, but I do try to see through the complications that women put in the way of relationships that muddy the water, that sort of cloud things that make it difficult to see things for what they are. Reciprocity is a really big thing. Let me close this door. Reciprocity is huge. And what I mean when I say reciprocity is, is equal give and take. It is getting in return what it is that you put into something, whether it be your effort, your time, resources, the energy, everything that you um, breathe life into that causes something to grow and to prosper and to nurture should be reciprocated by your person of interest. And too often in relationships, it's not like that. But the interesting dynamic that I observe with a lot of the clients that I have is that it didn't start out that way. And it didn't quite ever develop. And by the time that they feel they are in a relationship, it still is not there. Um, and I wanna just take a moment to talk about feeling like you're in a relationship. Because it's one thing to be in one and both parties feel as though they're in one and it's been clearly defined and the expectations that each has of the other have been articulated and everything is out in the open. It's another thing to be carrying on the behaviors and have the mindset that you're in a relationship because uh, of the things that you are doing, the effort that you are putting in, the things that you may be doing, whether it's making dinner for someone, taking them lunch to their job, having sex with them, taking care of their children, giving them money. Um, and that causes feelings to arise within you that give you a sense of being in a commitment, even if you may not necessarily be in a commitment. And so what ends up happening is the other person receives those things and they are clear that they're not in a commitment, yet they're still taking those things because you are giving those things. So you have these mixed messages and, and it contributes to a situation where one person is doing all the giving, the other person is taking all of the rewards and they're benefiting from all of that giving, but the person that's doing the giving because love energy, has to be reciprocated. Otherwise, what happens is it leads to an imbalanced heart chakra. When you're sending out, you're sending out, you're sending out, and <clears throat> nothing is coming back to you, you burn out, you become resentful, you become upset, you become angry because the universal law of giving and receiving requires that both people give and both people receive. And whenever we violate those laws, we can't win. You can't win child you can't win when you violate those universal principles you can't always be on the giving end you can't always be on the receiving end there must be an equilibrium there must be balance and so when there is not one person burns out another person becomes resentful but the what is that issue here is that when you don't have a situation where both people are giving there are only so many reasons why that is the case. 
one person doesn't feel the same way about the other. The other person is taking someone for granted. Another person is unable to give the way the other person is, is, is giving because maybe they're in another situation, whatever it may be. The bottom line is both people can't meet each other on equal footing. And when both, both people can't meet each other on equal footing from the get-go, it's going to be inequity throughout the entire duration of the relationship unless there's a major shift in that dynamic, which means that someone mm -hmm. is going to be giving more and receiving less than what they are giving, all right? And so we have a, a, great, a grave imbalance here. So a lot of the women that I work with are in these situations with men who either tell them from the get-go that they are not looking for a commitment but the woman knows she's looking for a commitment, but the man has already said he's not looking for a commitment, which means already we're not a match. And if we're not a match and you decide to move forward, then you have to accept the collateral damage and the risks associated with moving forward in something that is not compatible with what you say you want anyway. Okay, that's, that's, a, that's a big, 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 big issue. Oftentimes a woman will move forward because she's starving for companionship or she's starving for a relationship and she gets a situation from the outset that does not meet what it is she said she wanted, but she backed down from her standards and she accepted less. And then when she gets less, then there's some resentment. And what ends up happening is you have a person who has told you that they're not looking for a commitment but they're still going to partake of the rewards of your efforts and your giving and your nurturing spirit. And you continue to do that, but then you expect something different in return. It's, 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 it, it's not gonna work that way. So what I wanna say in this video is I wanna remind you that when a man is into you, you will know it. You don't have to guess about it. You don't have to overthink things. You don't have to wonder why he didn't text. You don't have to do all of that. If someone is interested in you, they're going to show you that they're interested in you. Um, if someone is interested in you, they're not just going to give you words. You're not going to just have to hang on to their words. They're gonna show you action. When a man is interested in a woman, when a man wants a woman, he knows how to make an advance towards that woman, all right? Um, if he does not make those advances, if he does not step up in that communication, then it means that he is not at that level yet where he's ready to express that. Now, whether or not that comes is a whole nother different uh, topic. But one thing for sure is he may not be into you like that. And that is okay because you are not desperate unless and until you make yourself desperate. And trust me, to keep moving forward in a situation like this when you know that you want something that this person is not prepared to give is it's a train wreck waiting to happen. And you're going to end up being upset. You're going to end up being resentful. You're going to end up being disappointed but you won't have anybody to blame but yourself because you were told from the beginning that this person was not serious or even if they didn't tell you that they weren't serious because some men are not as straightforward and they're not going to tell you they're not interested in a commitment they're going to continue to go along and play along to get along and all of that while being able to benefit and partake of some of the the uh, benefits of associating with you without having to really get any skin in the game, but you too are supposed to take some ownership over the situation and understand still whether or not this person has said that to you and they told you that they're not interested in a commitment. If they are not acting as if they're interested in a commitment and that they're serious about pursuing you and getting to know you by making an effort, then you have to know that they are not ready. Please keep in mind that in most situations, um, when we're talking about energy here, it is the masculine's energy responsibility to come towards you and pursue you once you have given some sort of go ahead or you've given an approval or you've shown some sort of interest. It is their job to begin to, to give. It is your job to, to receive at that point. When you allow that situation to happen organically, 
and you don't give off clingy energy, you don't give off the energy of desperation, and you allow that to happen over time in a very natural way, you are easily able to see what it is you're working with and if this relationship has a future or not. There is no confusion. One of the things that I notice that we women tend to do is to overthink everything. You overthink everything. You have a reason for why he did this. You have a reason for why he did that. Everything is a reason for why he did what he did or he didn't say what he was supposed to or he um, didn't do this or that except the reason which is this person is not aligned with what I'm looking for. This person doesn't meet my standards and I'm out of here. So please keep in mind when you are out here in these streets and you are dating and you are trying to get to know people, make sure that you're not coming up. First of all, make sure that you're clear on who you are and what it is you're looking for. All right. Have a way or a process of determining whether or not a person that you are interested in is interested in you at the same level. Do not pursue something that looks like it is a dead end because you want so badly to be in a relationship. It's not worth it because at the end of the day, that person can never give you what it is you want. And so time has gone by, energy has been wasted, emotions have gotten involved, and at the end of the day, and some of you may have children, children have gotten involved, and at the end of the day, the relationship is not able to move forward. And before you know it, you'll have a revolving door of people that are in and out of your life. And most of that is because you haven't taken the time to decide who you are and what it is that you want. You haven't taken the time to stick to the list of non-negotiables. You haven't taken the time to let something gradually come to you and you're searching for, seeking and longing for a relationship. And that is the worst way to be out here in the marketplace trying to find a mate. That's not the healthy way to manifest a mate. The best way to manifest a mate is to work on yourself, okay, to, 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 to put some time and investment into transforming those aspects of yourself that allow you to feel whole, full, and complete. When you feel complete and you feel happy in your own skin and you feel happy every day pursuing the things in your life that are meaningful, for you, those are the times that that perfect person comes into your life. Anytime before that, you're going to attract the kind of person into your life that's going to be a nightmare because you can't see. You're not able to see the fullness of the truth that is in front of you when you are chasing something, when you are longing for something, when you are clinging for something, when you're really, really looking for something, anything that shows up, you're going to think that that's what you're looking for. You won't really be able to see it from an objective standpoint, which means you do yourself a disservice. So stop chasing these relationships. Stop being starved for affection. Take the time to uh, bring dignity to your manifesting activity for a mate by getting to know yourself a little bit more, by being patient, by trusting in the process, by knowing that when that person comes into your life, you want them to be the right person. When someone is not into you, it is clear when they're not into you. They don't respond to your text messages. They don't return calls on time. They don't um, express themselves fully in their communication with you. They take very little initiative. They make very little effort. They don't uh, plan activities for you. They don't reach out. They don't take the time to listen and to know more about you and what's going on in your life and what's important to you. They are not there emotionally. They may show up physically for you in terms of uh, having sex or exchanging something else in terms of face-to-face -face time. But when it comes down to the things that really count, that person is not going to be there because they may not be ready. It's that simple. I've yet to see anybody that wanted something in this world and didn't know how to get it. I've yet to see anybody who wanted to keep something in this world and didn't know how to keep it. 
It's a natural phenomena. We move towards those things that we want. We move away from those things that we don't want. Don't complicate the situation. Don't overanalyze the situation. Don't over-rationalize the situation. See it for what it is. He's just not that into you. And that's okay. Because if he's just not that into you, what do you look like forcing it? If he's just not that into you, why are you into him, right? It's got to be a two-way street. There's got to be some reciprocity here. I hope this video hits whoever this video is for. If you find yourself um, chasing after a man, um, and when I say chasing after a man, I'm not talking about showing interest. I'm not talking about reaching out because you're thinking about someone. I'm not talking about playing games and not texting because they didn't text you. That's not what I'm talking about. It is a very easy transaction and it is a very easy interaction when two people are interested in each other. Things flow, things are very easy. There's nothing that can complicate the situation. There's nothing that should complicate it. It's very organic. It doesn't uh, require pushing. It doesn't require forcing. Uh, you're not feeling as though you have to chase someone. You're not feeling taken for granted. Um, you feel appreciated. You feel that mirroring energy. You feel that whatever the energy is that you put out, you're able to get that back in a situation. It's simple. Let's keep it simple and let's remember that when someone is into you, you know it. And when someone is not into you, you know that as well. Okay, if this video provided you some clarity or gave you some dendrites to think, of, to think on or to reflect on, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like it share and subscribe and i will see you for the next video if you have not purchased my book manifesting your masterpiece back there you can get it on amazon if you're looking for uh healing sessions or readings anything of that nature hidayareki.com is in the description look me up and find out how you can book a session have a beautiful rest of your day